What's going on, guys? Welcome back to the Loading Podcast, episode 21. My name is AJ. And my name is Arthur. It is December 13, 2019. How are you doing today, bro? I'm doing great today. You know what I mean? It's a pretty nice day outside, all things considered, besides the fact that it's raining. Yeah. Uh, for being halfway, almost halfway through the month, mm-hmm. it's 49 degrees. <laughs> like, just because it's raining doesn't mean that it's a bad day. It's actually not that bad. Yeah. Like, it doesn't feel bad either. I can't remember the last December, the middle of December day I had that was 49 degrees, and I could literally just walk outside of my house in a hoodie <laughs> and a t-shirt and some sweatpants. Exactly. It's it's a good day. But, but then I will say, I will say, just to end it off, um, like, we've been getting crazy weather just yeah. all week in yeah. general. It's, like, if it's not rain, that's 40 degrees or 50 degrees in uh, one case. Or 30 degrees in or other 30 cases. degrees in and other And it was case. snowing a few days ago, and now it's just exactly. like, all right, 50 degree weather. Listen, it's like, I like to tell this to people when they've never been to New York City. The weather over here is bipolar as fuck. It is incredibly bipolar you come out here in the fall you might need some tims and a raincoat or some some goddamn short shorts exactly and a tank top it's it's bipolar you need shit to have down a here. wardrobe in your in your backpack for whatever the case may be yeah pretty much but we have a pretty stacked episode today we have a very stacked episode very, i'm not gonna be surprised stacked. if this if this goes a little long but mm-hmm. we'll, we'll see but anyway how, how are you doing before we get into it how, how's everything going everything's going great actually Oh, yeah? Everything's been going great. Like, just life in general. I got my classes set up again. So, I'm going to be heading back to college uh, next semester, which is going to be great. Nice. Getting back on that grind. Nice. Uh, I've been playing and finishing Resident Evil 2. Great game. Highly recommend it. Uh, aside from that, I got into Stardew Valley 2, which, fun fact, I've had on my PC for a very long time, but it took me until my PC group, if you're listening to this, yo, shout outs to you guys. Uh, they helped me get back on it, and it's fun. It's very fun and relaxing. It's like the same way that you feel when you were playing Minecraft again. Like, you know that feeling where it's like... Yeah. You spent so many hours into it because you're just getting back into it for the first time after a whole bunch of new stuff came out. Mm-hmm. It feels good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you, bro? Me? How have you been? I'm chilling. I haven't really been playing many other games besides Smash Bros. I've been on Titanfall 2. Um, besides that been pretty stressful recently Ooh. uh you know finals finals week is next week for me yes and i, I got, wish you i got three jeez three finals years. yep all on the same day and i have a presentation and a, like a 1500 page paper due 1500 page 50 not 1500 i was about to say <laughs> hold the fuck up what kind of slavery you fucking <laughs> school <laughs> are you going Wait. to oh god no yo you'll never get that done <laughs> 1500 words Man's about to write the bible <laughs> <laughs> oh nah nah son 1500 yeah. page paper i'm i'm dropping out i'm dropping that class bro. Fuck that. <laughs> forever 1500 pages you gotta be fucked up if you're gonna God do that damn. much you know how much ink you're gonna need to print 1500 pages and it's not gonna be yo know, yeah no, no no i know how you do that every page is just a letter of the word <laughs> Oh, nah, son. <laughs> All right. But nah, I, I have a 1,500 word. There paper, you dude. go. Uh, it's, 1,500 words isn't really that much, but you know what I mean? It, it's just stacking on top of all the other shit I have to prepare yeah. for. Yeah, I know the feeling. I know the feeling. Like, I remember um, I had like a uh, eight-page paper that was due at one point. Uh, I don't know how many words that was. That was probably way over 1,500 but that was compounded with all the other stuff that I had to do, like a presentation for my communications class, uh-huh. uh, another two tests that I had to take and study for. It, it piles on, is uh, what I'm trying to yeah, say. If I can actually add on to what you're saying right now, too. Yeah. Uh, funny story. So the other day, right? Oh, God. This is going to be good. This It, it was actually kind of funny. Mm-hmm. I was in my last class for the day. I, I didn't feel like going, honestly, I didn't feel like going, but I knew that we we're going to be doing, uh, we we're going to be preparing for the 1500 page paper I have to do, like yes. I was telling you about, right? Yes. So I go to the class, everyone's in there, uh, we wait 15 minutes, teacher doesn't show up, people start leaving, we, we leave, we leave a paper with attendance, uh, so I'm like, hmm, 
something doesn't seem right about this. Let me go upstairs. Let me check the lab. Let me check her office mm-hmm. to see where the professor's at. Go upstairs. The room is dark as hell. No one's in there. Empty. What the hell? Go back downstairs to, to the classroom. No one's in there. Just, just desert. Just <laughs> ghost town. The whole the whole college felt like a ghost town. I didn't even run to one person there, too. Uh-huh. But, so I'm like, hmm, okay. Well, I left my name there, so I'm going to be out now. <laughs> yeah. So, and now it's maybe like, tw- maybe 20 minutes after class started. So, as I start to go downstairs, I, and I leave the, and I leave the building, I go outside. I see the professor coming into school. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, hey, uh... Everybody left. Yeah. <laughs> by, by the time, me, my, mind you, by the time I'm doing this, I'm already outside the college. I It's like maybe the class started 25 minutes ago. Yeah. And the professor's just like, hey, where, where you going? I'm like, I'm going home. Everybody else is gone. <laughs> Everyone else is gone. But, but yeah. It was, it was, it was kind of funny. <laughs> yeah. It was kind of funny. No, like, uh, I will say, like, if there's one thing that I do kind of find a little bit funny is that when... It's almost as if college professors also kind of forget they're also supposed to keep attendance too. <laughs> like yeah. they're supposed to show up to class. I mean, keep in mind, me. like I was checking my email. I was checking like online. I was like, you making sure that nothing. Professor, I got nothing. Nothing on Blackboard. Nothing on um, like emails or anything like that. It was just completely dry. Yep. Damn. But yeah, that's how my week was going. But anyways, I think we should get into the main topics now. As yes. we all know. The Game Awards happened just last night for us at the time of recording this. Mm-hmm. Game Awards 2019. There was quite a few things to go over. What do you think we should start with first? Should we go over the trailers or should we go over the winners and actually I talk about that? I want to say we should go over the trailers because for well, actually... Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Let's talk about the trailers first and then we can talk about the nominees and then we can go and discuss whether or not they deserve it or not or if it was rigged like rigged. a lot okay. of stuff. <laughs> All right, Chief. Let's, let's go over it then. So... Anyways, the Game Awards 2019, uh, well, we're kind of just, we're not going in order, we're just going to go in, uh, we're just going to go in se- sequence of the things that interest, pardon me, the things that interested us the most. Yes. So, the first thing that's on the list is the Xbox Series X. Microsoft has finally unveiled their next-gen console, and... If I gotta keep it a buck with you, though, I thought Sony was going to do it first. I didn't even expect to see it tonight, mm. that, you know what I'm saying, when it happened. Like, I think... Out of all of the um, announcements and trailers that they debuted, Xbox probably takes it for the most surprising. Or the most unexpected, at least. Because no one expected them to literally debut their console right there. You know what I mean? Yeah. Can I keep it a buck with you, though? Yeah, what's up? When I saw it, I I thought it was another Xbox One. (laughs) I'm going to keep it a buck with you. But I will say one thing, though. The design is very cool. It's very sleek. Mm -hmm. Uh, It's very interesting yes but can we talk about this name though xbox series x um it's 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 don't get me wrong i think it's a cool design you know what i'm saying i hope it got some good games to launch with it but their name is just not it yeah like i agree with you 100 percent. the design cool i like it it's a nice it kind of reminds me of a pc like design wise, like if you just take like your regular um desktop, like a little tower, it kind of reminds me of that. Yeah, or even even the uh the very expensive, you know what I'm saying, ones you can buy pre built that Ex- come in like a yes. very sleek tower. Exactly. Like I like the design, don't get me wrong, but Series X. Here's, Series here's the thing, X. It's called the Xbox Series X, and Xbox just released the console was what was it last year? Mm-hmm. Called the Xbox One X. Listen. Most of the people that, I wouldn't say most people, but a huge percentage of the people that buy consoles are not console users. No, it's most of the time they're, people trying to get gifts for console users. Their parents, their grandparents, their uncles, you know what I'm saying? Family members, relatives that don't know anything about games. Mm-hmm. So you basically decided to pull a Wii, Wii U. <laughs> And and have two products with very identical names. Mm-hmm. It's not good. <laughs> like, 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 just imagine this scenario, right? Like, maybe your grandmother is in GameStop, or who, who knows? Maybe Toys R Us, right? And then they're like, Toys do R Us. you Toys R Us have is Toys R Us is bankrupt? What are you talking about? Oh, okay, forget it. Uh, <laughs> like, what what's have? what's a all right? How about Target? They got like twelve stores. 
<laughs> All right, let's say Target then. I, oh, I completely forgot Wait, that Toys R Us. Let me, let me put on my grandma. My, my son wants an Xbox. <laughs> Can you please hand me the, the, the Xbox X? And then the employee tells you, oh, I'm sorry, man. We're all out. But we do have Xbox One Xs. What, what's the and difference then... there? My, my son wants a... <laughs> My son wants an Xbox. Can you can you hand me the Xbox, please? <laughs> he was like, man, would you like an Xbox One X or an Xbox Series X? Mm-hmm. Well, what about the Xbox One S? Oh, what about what about the Xbox One? We have regular Xbox Ones. You like any of those? No, mm, uh, what's the difference? Like they don't they don't know what's the my, my point Xbox. is. They're not gonna know what the different what the difference is. Mm-hmm. It's uh, I just want to. I just want to know how they're going to plan the market this though, because it's, yeah. it's very weird. I'm um, like, when it comes to marketing, how do you think they're going to promote this? I don't know, but I will always say when it comes to uh, not not ads, but when it comes to marketing with uh, names, mm-hmm. Sony has been killing it. Like, because they just they keep it simple. Yeah. PlayStation One, PlayStation Two, <laughs> PlayStation Three. PlayStation Four, PlayStation Five, like you know, it's, it's simple. Hell, even the even um the handheld PlayStation Portable, PSP. It's, it's very simple. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like Xbox is just like, nope, we're we're just gonna do whatever we want to do. Yep. Like I mean, it works, I guess, but is it gonna work though? That's the thing. Is it really gonna work? Because a huge problem that Nintendo had was a lot of people didn't even know what the Wii Wii there was, U was. There was people who thought the Wii U. It was an extension of the in- Nintendo Wii and not an entire entirely different console. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So and you know, I, partially, I can't blame them for that, for thinking like that. I mean, yeah, then again, <laughs> yeah, true that. Like, when, I, when I'm talking about, like, maybe, like, your your, your parents and your grandparents. Mm-hmm. And the thought. big problem with the Xbox One was, they, X, the Xbox One didn't really have a lot of great games on it. Mm-hmm. So, if the Xbox Series X don't have a lot of great games on it, too, it just, it's... We're just going to have a repeat, It's going to be honestly. difficult. I know they have a lot of new game developers working on games currently for the Xbox Series X. Mm-hmm. One of them actually got announced. Yeah, it was called too. Godfall. I just hope... Wait, no. That's no. That's for PlayStation that's 5. That's for PlayStation 5. God. Actually, <laughs> no. I it's, was wrong. What was, what was it? I forgot. It was, I think Hellblade Senua's... Uh, it's the sequel to Hellblade Senua. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Yo, Sony about to come in here and be like, no, 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 you ain't taking my no, game, boy. No, no, wrong. Correct. Incorrect. <laughs> Incorrect, sir. That's on our competition. <laughs> yeah, it was, they announced Sony was too, but uh, basically, my point is, I hope you got games. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I hope you got That's games. the big thing. Not not for like a year down the line. I'm talking like about hardcore much. exclusives that makes you, a consumer want to buy the system. Mm-hmm. Like, we've talked about this plenty of times before. PlayStation got Spider-Man. God of War, Uncharted. I, we didn't have to go down there. Exactly. This. They know. They know. So, you need this, Microsoft. Xbox has Halo. Gears, not even Gears anymore. No, they have Gears. It's on Steam now, though. Gears 5 is on Steam. What about Gear 6? I don't even know who the fuck. Gear 6 came out. Did you know that? Gears of War 6? Yes. 6? I'm pretty sure. Five just came out. Look up Gear Six right now. Gear Six. Look, look it up. I, it's right. not a thing. Look it up. Look it up. Hold right now. the fuck up. <laughs> there is am no I, am six. I buddy? Are you talking about five? <laughs> yeah, there is no six. Look, this is five. Let me. Wait, see. Wait, could it be that they announced six? I don't know, look, bro. This is five. When did that come out? Literally this year. Go, go, go now. <laughs> oh, you're right. <laughs> Never mind. But it's on Steam. It's on Steam now. Oh, so wait, Gear 6? Think... Oh, wait, I, was, I think I was getting that mixed up with Gears Tactics. Excuse oh, we me. will talk about that Excuse later. me. <laughs> <laughs> Gears Tactics. Gears Tactics, by Which God. is like what? Which is essentially like what? Like, what was that Halo it, game? Halo... Halo Tactics? Was it called Halo Tactics? It was a tactic no, I think it was game. Halo Spartan Wars or something like that. I don't know, but... I think... Well, I'm, I'm actually curious... My point is, Xbox, you better have games. Yes. Because that was a problem this generation. I don't care what any Xbox fan says. They were lacking games. I don't I don't care. They really were. They, it was never nothing. It was never not anything to play on Xbox. You know what I'm saying? There's always something to play on Xbox, especially if you have Game Pass. But first party exclusives is my main thing. Okay? Yes. Anyways. Moving let's on. Let's move on. <laughs> uh, I think we should actually talk about. Uh, yeah, we already Senua mentioned Senua's sacrifice. sacrifice, but what was there much to see though? The trailer looked okay. It's 
very looks, weird. Wait, didn't they say that with the game, all of that was captured with in-game footage? I'm, no, I'm pretty sure they said in-engine. Or in-engine, there you go. Okay, um, I got it mixed up. What they mean by in-engine is it's not the real game. Yeah, it's not the real game. <laughs> so when I see in-engine, I'm just already like, my brain turns off. It's like, all right, whatever. <laughs> like, all right, all right, this is kind of what it's supposed to look like, but I know that's not what it's actually going to look like. Yeah. Granted, the original one was impressive. I it will was. give that. It was impressive. And this is running on, supposed to be running on better hardware. Yes. So we'll but see if it's... I still don't care. Show me the fucking <laughs> gameplay. Stop bullshitting me. That's I don't want to see this end engine bullshit. I'm that tired of this shit. That Moving is true. on. Moving on. No more Heroes 3, boys. Yeah, by Nintendo. We're moving on to Nintendo. Yes. No more Heroes 3. It's cool. Uh, when I watched, when I was watching the Game Awards, I guess I, I got up to take a piss or something. I didn't see the trailer. <laughs> I don't know. But I will uh, that's say, cool. Uh, me personally, I think I've explained this before when we were talking about the E3 uh, video. I like No More Heroes personally because it was two great games on Wii that, but because it was on Wii, not a lot of people got to actually experience it. Yeah. I think I've showed you some gameplay. Correct me if I'm wrong. Did yes. they also release a No More Heroes for the Switch? Well, it wasn't like a mainstay game. I don't know i Look know it up. Look it up real quick. i know that they released a hd version of the first game on ps3 and i think xbox but i'm not sure no more heroes switch no more heroes i'm i'm pretty sure there was one this is coming from someone who used to be around gamestop a lot so yeah yeah no uh travis strikes no more heroes huh january 18 2019 yep oh okay oh yeah you're right it was that top-down thing. I forgot about that. Oh, it was that. a top-down. Okay. It was a top-down, um, I guess, slasher? Interesting. Well, what is what is the original No More Heroes? What is that? Is it like a third-person game? Yeah, or first -person it's a third-person hack and slash, right? Okay. Where a perverted otaku you have gets my attention. a lightsaber, essentially. You have my attention. And he is tasked with killing... 10 other assassins to become the best assassin take my fucking money the, <laughs> the humor is very very adult like and funny which is why i was surprised it was on the wii yo if there's a love interest i already know this is about to be on some scott pilgrim versus the world type shit <laughs> the way just the way you described it you, you got my attention that's literally the that, that's literally travis he's just a perverted otaku that wants to kill people to be the wow. best assassin I'm, i might have to check this one out when it drops then I yes don't know. i'm not really too familiar with the no more heroes franchise i find it but. underrated personally well nowadays um it's good that there's three i can't wait to see what they'll do with the game mm -hmm. and aside from that i really have nothing else to say because there wasn't any gameplay all right moving on yes it's bravely right. default dos dos i like how you said dos instead of two the, the original one came out for the 3ds yes I'm correct yeah 3ds now i will say this i originally thought that the other blade brave i was gonna say bravely bravely default game that came out on 3ds was supposed to be two so when i saw bravely default 2 i'm like wait so what was the set it was second something you didn't you own the first one if i'm correct yes how was it very enjoyable you think you're gonna pick up the second one when it comes out knowing me yes yes i will only because the first game was really good in the fact that it brought me back to like old snes um playstation rpgs old turn-based combat with a nice fresh take with the whole bravely default mechanic i i am familiar with the bravely default series i've seen pieces of a walkthrough i've never personally played it myself mm -hmm. but one thing that i hope they do when they bring it to switch is i hope they make the game like i know it's a very pixelated game but i hope they make the game look like it belongs on the switch yes you know what i mean yes i agree with you actually right there like in terms of different effects that they can do you know what i'm saying like they have a lot more processing power on the switch now mm -hmm. they can do things with like terms of like effects like uh the amount of things they can have on screen and different things like that especially because it's a pixelated game you know what i mean they can have a shit ton of things on i mean screen. have you seen octopath traveler that is a that's a great very example. very good pixelated game on switch and fun fact it's made by this i think the same developer wasn't it square enix well square enix is publishing it. it's the oh, studio okay. that's behind it that uh, was making it but yeah uh, I'm looking forward to it only thing that I hope gets addressed is that in the first game 
like after I think chapter five or six, it got way too repetitive. Um, so I hope they address that. Looking forward to it. And overall, yeah, it's just going to be a nice RPG that I have on my Switch again. Nice. Moving nice. on. Moving away from Nintendo. Yes. We're going to go to the PC for a second. Or wait, is it actually going to be PC only? Do we know? I don't know, but we're going to find out soon enough, I guess. Because mm-hmm. Riot has announced pretty much a League of Legends solo single player experience. Two of them, actually. Two, yes. Uh, all I got to say to this is, wow, they finally decided to make another game. They finally decided to put the S in Riot Games to use. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah, you're right. Like, um, but just for a little context behind this, mm-hmm. um, they essentially, I think they mentioned it uh, during the uh, presentation. It's, they have this thing called Riot Forge, which essentially is, I think, a license or a company that other game publishers can use to use like assets from their game to make something from the League of Legends universe. Oh, okay. So, okay, interesting. Yeah. This is this is a throwback to an episode we did a few weeks ago. Oh, with a the few Riot, months ago. Uh, we had an entire yeah, right? we had an entire episode dedicated to I believe it was episode 16, yeah. Yes. Dedicated to the League of Legends 10 year anniversary where they announced mm-hmm. all the other things they were working on. Now we actually get a, a glimpse of what we're of what we're uh, soon to exp- see, but mm-hmm. unfortunately it was nothing but CGI, so Yeah, nothing but CGI. It just, it's just there just to get people excited and Shame. to talk about it, <laughs> which tired. I would have liked. I really would have liked some games. I'm, I'm tired of these CGI trailers. I'm being like, yes, I, I, I low key want to go into a rant. <laughs> but I'm tired like, of these fucking CGI. Do shows. you know how much I want to see Echo? If it's not ready, a single player game. If it's not ready. Just don't show me. Just don't talk about it. Yeah, show it to me when it's ready, please. Like, um, the first one. What is it? Ruin King. It's just supposed to. T- you don't know. Um, you don't know. Um, like mm-hmm. league lore, but it's a certain event yeah. that takes place after a character dies. And it's it's like imagine this like imagine a whole bunch of lost souls come into like our city and just torment everyone. So it's gonna take place during that, and then the other one is gonna focus on Echo, which I'm actually very curious about. And I I don't know if you know Echo or not. Oh, uh, the character, yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah. From League of Legends. Mm, I'm familiar with them. All right, but yeah, it's gonna take. Uh, those are the two games that they released. I'm very excited, especially um the one about Echo. I think it's called Convergence or something like that. I want to see what they do with uh with Zon and what kind of game is it? Because I know Ruin King is supposed to be what uh turn based action RPG. Is that what they said? I, I believe so. so. Yeah, I believe they said it was one of them was a turn based RPG. Yes. I don't remember if it was the Ruin King and the other one they talked about. I think it was Ruin King, and then the other one they just showed out of nowhere, and then they just talked about it, and then that's it. They just dropped it afterwards. Cool, but cool that they're working on it, but the announcement was not very cool. No, I just want more. I want to see gameplay. Yeah, I want to see gameplay. But anyways, moving on. Yes. To another thing that happened during the Game Awards. Also, we we haven't even really touched on the comical shit that they did during the Game Awards. Uh, my favorite part was when, when uh, they had the Muppets on screen and the, and the little goose came out and yeah, shit. Yeah, I'll, I'll say, yeah, that was my favorite part too. Yeah, I actually laughed out loud during the Game Awards, which was, I was not expecting to do that, if I'm being honest with mm-hmm. you. But, I mean, it was cool. It, it, was, it was also cool. unexpected. It the was. Muppets? <laughs> Excuse me? With, un, with the goose from Untitled the Goose Game? The goose from Untitled Goose Game. I never thought I needed that combo in my life. No, what, what surprised me the most was, like, when I saw the actual Muppet in <laughs> in the game, like, the Untitled yeah. Goose Game, like, I don't know how they did that, if it was, like, they were working with the devs or it was a mod or something, but... I want to say that the devs that added cool. it for that. Yeah, that looked really cool. It looked cool and hilarious. Yeah, but anyways, uh, actually... What's up? Was Untitled Goose Game nominated for Best Indie Game? Yes. It was? Oh, okay. We're going to get to that later. We'll get to but that when we get to game nominations and winners. Next up is Apex Holiday Event. So, uh, I'll say this. The beginning with Jeff Keighley and Mirage, you know what? Somewhat comical. Dragged on for too long, though. I'll say that. And after that, it's it's Apex Legends, you know. It's a Christmas event for Apex Legends. 
you know, get your brand new cosmetics, your Christmas themed stuff, all that kind of things. What did you think about it in all honesty? Okay. <laughs> you just looked at me and be like, okay. I think that was the reaction that almost everyone had. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Like, it's all right. Cool. I know you got you to gotta announce it. Uh, oh, yeah. This is something that I didn't mention on the notes, but uh, I don't think any of us care. But Fortnite is... Uh, is gonna show off some Star Wars uh, oh, yeah? trailer. Oh yeah, you you want that you want that game. glider, my guy? You, yeah. you want that want that uh, yeah, Tie wanna, Fighter glider? I, I want to play as Ray. Did you see? You can play it as a Stormtrooper though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Tell me how um, Ray in Fortnite looked better than Vin Diesel in, in that Fast and fast- Furious game. <laughs> You know, we didn't put the Fast and Furious game on our notes, and I'm glad we didn't because no. we're not going to talk I just about that to give fucking it, blasphemy. Yes, I just wanted to give it a quick mention. That disgusting, that old ass PS3 developed shit. for PlayStation Three, not even game. Probably like in PlayStation Two, upscale to fucking die. 1080p. Exactly. <laughs> probably runs at like 20 frames per second. <laughs> Bullshit. Yo, what? All right, I'm not, this is the only thing I'm going to talk about from the fuck trailer. movie games. God damn it. Fuck them. Like when the There's girl, like one good one. When yeah. the girl jumped off the car to the train and looked like gravity stopped for like two seconds. All right, moving on. <laughs> yeah, moving on. Ghost of Tsushima. <laughs> yes. A, a game I'm, I'm looking forward to. Is this an exclusive for... Is this, is this exclusive or is it just a third party? I think it's third party. I didn't mention anything about exclusivity. Oh, wow. Well. It looks cool. It looks good. It looks cool, honestly. I don't know if it's just me or not, but like, I think this was also when it was this E3 or last E3 when they had both Sekiro and Ghost of Tsushima. I think that was last year Game Awards, don't you think? I don't remember. It was it was something, but mm-hmm. those games look very similar in terms of style. But I will say uh, the narrative for this game has got me very interesting. I want to know what the story is because the thing about Sekiro was the story was. Uh, ambiguous loose loose just like all all games from from software from software are usually loose Mm -hmm. so i want to see if this game can create a narrative can actually uh build a relationship with like the the characters and the supporting roles and shit like that if they can do that then you must shit you might have me sold but i don't know what do you think i agree with you in that i want to see more personally the gameplay and how different it is from Sekiro. Yes. I yes, want to see agree. what's the differences. Because it's like, sure, we have two games. Both of you play a samurai. I want to see what makes me want to play Ghosts over Sekiro. Because mm-hmm. Sekiro has very tight gameplay that's focusing on parrying. And it has the natural difficulty that a From Software game has. I wonder if Ghosts is going to have more like... um slow like you know um slower paced gameplay where you where have to like think methodically and like target other people's weak points like or that kind of is thing. it going to be just like a hack and slash or yeah like a super like fast paced uh, ninja slash. gaiden yeah type shit you know what i'm saying but no one of those styles i want to see if really? it's going to go for that i don't think this game is going to have what i'm about to say but i've always wanted to play like a samurai game where i can create my own character make my own fighting style and you know what I'm saying? Also, like Afro samurai type shit. Oh my god! <laughs> and just you know what I'm saying? Go ham! Like you have your own distinct fighting style that's attached to your character. Yeah, like you could choose whether you want like one sword or two. Mm-hmm. You could like. Well, the closest that we have is Neo. That's the closest we have because there's multiple different um weapons and fighting styles based on like high, medium, and low stance. And they have like a variety of weapons from like pole arms, dual swords, mm. big katanas. I want like a lot of customization. Like deep though. customization. Like you customize your character, thing, things you wear, your appearance. You know what I'm saying? Like hairstyles, mm-hmm. you know, things of that nature. Yes, I, I would like to see more of that. That would be interesting to see. That would be. You could choose your voice and shit too. That would be lit. <laughs> Yo, imagine if all of them is in Japanese, so you could sound like a little ass girl for like some Sekiro. <laughs> <laughs> like Sekiro. Like <laughs> Sekiro. Like, I would like to see that, actually. That would be really cool. That would be lit, Doug. Mm-hmm. But until then, we'll see what Ghost of Tsushima has. I, I'll keep my eye on that game. Yes. Anyways. Uh, but yeah, that's, that's... 30 minutes in. Yes. We're going to get to the main... There's more, but main event. There's more. that's that's besides the point. Let's actually talk, talk about what the Game Awards is about. 
what games won and the nominations that we had this year. Yep, I got them pulled up right here. All right, I'll just bring them up on my screen. What should I start with? Should I start with Game of the Year? Mm, nah, let's, I... start, let's leave that for let's last. Let's go all the way to the back. Let's... let's leave that for last. Save the best for last. All right, let's game. start with the lame ones. Yes. Community support. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, award for community support. It was Apex Legends, Final Fantasy XIV, uh, Rainbow Six Siege, Fortnite, and Destiny 2. Yes. Winner, Destiny 2. All right. So, I personally think that Final... Well, I want to say Final Fantasy should have won. But then again, they only released, like, one content update every two years. <laughs> oh, you mean the game where you have to pay, like, a yes. monthly fee? Yes, you have to pay a monthly fee. And you have to buy the expansion pack. Oh, you want to oh, have oh, access wow. to all of that? You mean you mean I have to pay a monthly fee and I get like like it's a fucking bill at the end of the fucking month? Wow, mm, mm, capitalism! Yeah, oh, capitalism. Huh? <laughs> mm. Guys, guys, I can't pay my light bill because I have to play Final Fantasy fourteen. I need to get married to my role playing wife. <laughs> all right, VR Moment game of, VR game of the year goes uh, uh, denominations with No Man's Sky, uh, Tro- Trevor saves the universe, Asgard's wrath. Blood and Truth and Beat Saber. The winner, of course, Beat Saber. Beat Saber. Uh, I agree. Mm-hmm. I think Beat Saber was is great. What oh. else we got? Best independent game given by Reggie. I'm so I was so happy to see Reggie. Um, he's not the president no more, but I'm still glad he yeah, showed up. Can I just say, did you get a, like a weird feeling when he wasn't talking about anything Nintendo related? Yeah, like, that was, was like him. whoa. It was like damn, this thing, them, them niggas not cutting him a check no more. Mm. Out of there. But what do we got? Yo, wait, wait. This is off topic. Yeah. But imagine if Reggie just goes to work for like Sony or something. <laughs> How funny would that shit be? <laughs> My body is ready for a new company. Anyway, anyways, uh, independent game of the year. Yeah. It was Outer Wilds, Untitled Goose Game, Katana Zero, Baba is You, and Disco Elysium. The winner, is Disco Elysium. Yeah, I think wasn't it the group that had the consisted of like two? They won like we... four awards that night. Yeah. I've never heard of that game though. Me either, actually. All right. Uh, speaking of another one that they won was they also won a role playing game of the year. Oh, really? They won over Final Fantasy fourteen, Monster Hunter Worlds, Kingdom Hearts three, and the Outer Worlds. That is a stacked competition. Honestly, I felt like the Outer Worlds should have got that. Well, for what best RPG? RPG, yeah. What were the other ones? Yeah, Final Fantasy, Kingdom Hearts three, Outer Monster Worlds, Hunter, Monster Hunter, and that game, that Disco game. what? Disco Elysium. Disco Elysium. I'm, I would give it to the Outer Worlds, honestly. I'd agree. Granted, I haven't played Outer Worlds, but I've just heard very good things about it. Yeah. Action Game of the Year. Oh, yes. Actual Chain, a game that I fucking... I was hoping it would win. I, so I, badly. Yo, I fuck with that game a lot, bro. Yeah, this is for Best Action Game, right? Best Action Game. It was Astral Chain, DMC5, Call of Duty Modern Warfare, Metro Exodus, Apex Legends, Gears of War 5... And the winner was Devil May Cry 5. Can I just say that that had a lot of good nominees? Yes. You know what? I'm not even mad that Devil May Cry 5 won because Devil May Cry 5 was such a pure and like honest return, return to back, form. Yes, like, to the that's, series. Like I can't, I can't even name a series that went away for that long and came back and it was just as good. Can I just say it was funny when they uh, came up and they were like, sorry, it took us 11 years. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I was laughing. I was like, "Damn, it really has been eleven years." Devil May Cry Five. I used to. Mm-hmm. Right, you mean Devil May Cry in general? Like yeah, Devil May Cry, not, not, not Five. <laughs> but when I was like for the, the ones for the PS2, I yeah. played. Uh, I played uh, Devil May Cry One, Two, and Three. Actually, I only played Devil May Cry Two and Three and Four, but I never beat Four and the new the new weird reboot. Isn't that the one like he had like a, a clone or something or? Someone who uh, looked four? like him? Uh, Nero. 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 Yeah, Nero. It wasn't really a clone, more like uh, just another person that kind of looks like him. I mean, all these emo niggas look the same. Exactly. <laughs> in, the, in, in DMC. <laughs> let's, right. keep, let's keep it a buck. Let's keep it real. <laughs> <laughs> well, listen, Devil May Cry. These niggas, definitely... all, these niggas all come out of the same emo factory. Like... <laughs> Got white hair, trench coat, big ass sword for no reason. Yeah. All right. Anyways, moving on. Yes. Best esports team. Ooh, I remember this one. Team Liquid, San Francisco Shock, G2 Esports, Astralis, and OG. 
G2 Esports 1. Yes. I have no idea who the fuck any of these niggas are. League of Legends team. That made it to finals. Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> Best strategy game. Yes. <laughs> it was Fire Emblem Three Houses, Age of, Age of Wonders, Planet... <laughs> I just said three dots. It didn't continue. Oh, okay. okay. I, I was trying to read it for a second. War Groove, Tropical Six, Anno 1800, and Total War Three Kingdoms. The winner, of course, Fire Emblem Three Houses. Yes. How do you feel about that? Because you actually beat that game, and you're playing it again. Yes. I already beat it twice. Jeez. <laughs> Very good game. Uh, can I just say before um, you continue, there I don't know if it's listed on there, but um, they did a like a, a user poll for what they thought was Game of the Year, uh-huh. and Fire Emblem Three Houses won. Oh, yeah? Was, yeah. It, was that even nominated? It, like, um, we'll, it was, we'll find out soon. <laughs> we'll find out, yeah. It was, it's like player choice Game of the Year. I th- I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to keep it a buck with you, though. If you're talking Game of the Year, not not best strategy game. Yeah. Smash Bros. Uh, oh, over, I would have said. Over I Fire Emblem think. any fucking day of the week. Like, as much as I love Fire Emblem, I think Smash takes it. All right. Uh, best esports game. Yes. League of Legends. Fortnite. Dota 2. Overwatch. And Counter-Strike Global Offensive. Very good contenders. The winner is League of Legends, of course. Yes. 10 years strong in the game. And still going. Mm-hmm. And still improving. Yep. I didn't even know this was an award. I guess I tuned in a little, like, late. What was it? Best Esports Host. Oh! That was, I think, during the pre-show. Yeah. I, I, I caught, like, the last 10 minutes of the pre-show. Yeah. It was Alex Richard, Duan Yu Shuang, <laughs> Alex Mendez. No, I, I pronounced that. I think I pronounced that. Am, I, am I bugging? <laughs> Duan Yu Shuang. No, you, you got it right. All right, cool. That's how right. I would pronounce it. Paul, Paul Shan... Shaloner <laughs> and S Jocks. I, uh, I think her I think her name is pronounced Shocks. Shocks. That's how she pronounced it. I actually never know. I always the winner it. is Shocks. Okay, yeah. moving on. <laughs> Another League of Legends announcer. Best family game. Yes. Super Smash Ultimate, Ring Fit Adventure, Yoshi's Crafted World, Super Mario Maker Two, and Luigi's Mansion Three. I, I wonder if Nintendo's gonna win this one. Yeah, it was very stacked with yeah. Nintendo. But honestly, <laughs> if we're keeping it a buck, Nintendo puts out the best family games. Just no oh, yeah. one even close yeah. does it. And of course, the winner was Luigi's Mansion. Mm-hmm. All right. Fair enough, fair enough. Debut indie game. <laughs> I was actually rooting. <laughs> hold on, you'll see in a second. I know, which, I know which one you were rooting for. Gris, Outer Wilds, Untitled Goose Game, Slay the Spire. And my friend Pedro, a game that you very, very much enjoy, bro. I, I was, I, I love that game. Bro. I play that game to this day, and I bought it when I first, first got my Switch. Mm-hmm. But yeah, uh, the winner was Disco Elysium again. Fair enough. All right, best... I really should play that game or what? see what the hype is about that. What Disco Elysium? Yeah. We'll check it out after this. I definitely want to. Mm-hmm. It must be great if they won all these. Yeah, if they won all these, yeah, it has to be right. Oh my goodness! But yeah. Anyways, moving on. Oh, let me sip some water real quick. Yo, go ahead. Let's go fighting game. Let's do fighting game of the year. I low-key want to do that one. You want to go straight there first? What, yeah. about, what about all the other shit? Wait, 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 let me... This is like my personal thing, right? Okay, go, go, go. All right. Go. So, for best fighting game of the year, we have... Of course. Samurai Showdown. Uh-huh. Mortal Kombat 11. Uh, oh, God. I'm Dead a- or Alive 6. Super Smash Brothers Ultimate. Or Jump Force. Can we just... I- can we just like do a little flash rewind to a few episodes ago? <laughs> yeah. I think it was the end of episode nineteen. Yeah, episode nineteen. That it was the one <laughs> at the very end, like literally at the last Where I'm like, second. Jump Force better not win. And I just screamed out, "Jump Force should win game of the year!" <laughs> Trolling, and that shit just made you so upset. Yeah, anyways, it was. This, was, this was a no brainer. Don't say thankfully. It was a no. No, no, no. I will say thankfully the greater heads prevailed. And Super Smash Brothers wins. This was a no-brainer. If any other game won besides Super Smash Bros, I would say these niggas are very uncultured. Exactly. Like, how, are you... Are, like, you're what? telling me that Mortal Kombat 11 was you better than Smash? You have to be a fool. Who are you, Sonic Fox? The fuck? Either you have to be a fool or, sp- or a Smash Bros hater. Exactly. Like, get Come out on. of here. All right. Moving, moving on. on to the list that we were supposed to follow. Best esports coach. Let me give it a buck. I don't know any of these niggas. Ne- neither do I. <laughs> Danny Sorensen. Yes. Tituan Morlos, Nuri Jang, 
Eric Hoag, coma, Fabian Lo. <laughs> Why did you pronounce coma like that? Like a big it, it, it's really coma. No, I know, but you were like coma. <laughs> Should I say coma? <laughs> <laughs> like you put so much emphasis on that. Fabian Loman, and the winner is Danny Sorison. All right. All right, fair enough. I don't know who he is. Congratulations. Best esports event. All right, this one is kind of interesting. All right, this one I have a little bit to say about it. Uh, the Overwatch League 2019 Intel Extreme Masters. Don't know what that is. 2019 Fortnite World Cup. The International 2019 Evo. And the League of Legends World Championship. Yes. The winner going to the League of Legends World Championship. Honestly, I'm not surprised. It's just a massive event. Yeah. See, I was going to say that, like... I knew who was going to win, right? And it had to have been League of Legends Championship because it's just so big, right? But in my head, who I really wanted to win was Evo. I, I, I felt I re- that. I really wanted them to win, but I know they wouldn't. I know they right, wouldn't. Damn, we got a lot of nominations in here. Yeah, I think there was over 30 categories, weren't there? Yep. 40 Jesus minutes in. All right, Christ. cool. Let's keep going. <laughs> Studio and Game Direction. Yes. Sony Interactive Entertainment for Death Stranding. Mm-hmm. Uh... Capcom Resident Evil 2, The Outer Wilds, Control, Sekiro, and the winner goes to Sony Interactive and Kojima, The Training. Fair enough. Fair enough. Yep. When it Our- comes to game design, it's so weird, that game. So. Should I just run through these, the rest real quick? Yeah. Unless we don't have anything to talk about them. Death, oh yeah. Art Direction. <laughs> yeah, you can Death just go Training, Sekiro... This. Sayonara, Wild Hearts, The Legend of Zelda, Link's Awakening, uh-huh. Gris and Control, the winner being Control. What is Link's Awakening doing up there? Get that shit off of there. For art direction? Nah, son. <laughs> okay, this one actually surprised me the most. Yes. Uh, this is for audio design. Ooh. Gears 5, Death Stranding, Sekiro, Resident Evil 2, Control, and Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The winner going to Call of Duty Modern Warfare. Yes. I was surprised because... The audio design, and this is going to be very controversial. You, you might argue me on this one. Uh-huh. The audio design for that game is trash. You th- Wait, really? What are you talking about? When you when you first start that game, you're greeted by an air rape. <laughs> like, what are you aud- talking about? Like, I'll, I'll say this. Wait, wait, hold on. Let me, let me yes. finish. Let me yeah, finish. Yeah, go ahead, go ahead. There go was ahead. also a bug. I don't know if you ha- you encountered this bug, but there was also a bug with... When you when you act you get ear raped and you go to the main lobby, you there was a glitch where a lot of players were experiencing static in their headphones. Yeah. Over the over the uh, the title screen in the in the main lobbies and shit. Yes. But did you encounter that? Never. Okay. Thankfully. Cool. 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 Because I've seen a lot of people complain about the audio design, especially on PC. I was watching. A uh, shout out to the Black Hole Kage. Yes. H- have you seen that? Video? I've seen the video. Did you see the face he made? When yeah. He said he's like. <laughs> he was so you like can a see my expression, but Yeah. He literally had to go into his audio settings, fucking change the fucking frequencies or whatever. Yeah, the fuck, in order fix. for it to work. And he was yeah. like, nah, I'm not After dealing I saw with that. that, I was like, nah, son. But I, I will say, in terms of campaign and how they made the stream sound and all the other things in terms of tension and shit like that, that was great. Mm-hmm. See, that's what I judge the audio design. I would have given it to Resident Evil, though. That's just me. Resident Evil 2. When I beat it, I'll tell you if it's better or not. Because Modern Warfare has really good sound design. Like, it's probably one of the biggest strengths that the game has, honestly. But yeah, moving on. Maybe. <laughs> moving on. But that volume was not right. <laughs> nah, that volume... Well, Bro. I haven't experienced this, so I can't say. Arthur, when you start the game... Yes. You get a big-ass boom, like in your eardrums. <laughs> well, I don't put it max. I, I didn't hurt You play me. with headphones on, right? Yeah, I don't, I don't have my headphones at max. <laughs> I'm not trying to go ear rape, bro. I'm not gonna hold you. When I played, uh, I think it was when I played this game. Uh huh. That shit, Loki. It was it was it. Modern Warfare. One of the times I played Call of Duty, that shit scared me, bro. I was like, <laughs> boom, like what the fuck? Oh shit. <laughs> but anyways, moving on. Yes. <laughs> Best action adventure game: Sekiro: Shadows Die Twice, Control, Legend of Zelda: Link's Awakening, Resident Evil 2, Borderlands 3, Death Stranding. All good contenders, right there. Yep. Uh, the winner is Action Adventure. For Action Adventure is Kiro. All right. Mobile game. <laughs> not su- this one's not surprising. Not really. What the no. Gulf? Sayonara Wild Hearts Grindstone Sky Children of Light. I've heard of that one. Mm-hmm. And Call of Duty Mobile. The winner, obviously, going to Call of Duty Mobile. Yes. You can't be free. Can't be free. 
Anytime. Yep. Games for Impact. This one got me confused. Yeah. I'm, I'm going to set my water, too, when I want to have that. Like, re- read me the nominations so I can, like, be reminded of what was this really supposed to mean. So, Games for Impact. Yes. I'm assuming this is supposed to be for games that have made the most impact. Right? Obviously, it has to be, right? Sea of Solitude. Yes. Kind Words. Concrete Genie. Gris. And Life is Strange 2. I think these are games that tell a deeper story that's supposed to resonate with people more. The winner being Gris. Never played it. Never even heard of none of these games except Life is Strange. Yeah, that's the only one I've ever heard of. And because of that game, I can tell, like, oh, wait, it's probably games that made a big impact in, like, other people's lives. Yeah, or just, like, something that had a very uh, strong story or narrative. Yeah, strong But then again, they had a a category for best narrative. So it was just, like... Maybe it's, like, for stories that try to go for something more deeper. Maybe. I guess. I don't know. All right, moving on. Uh, Best score slash soundtrack. Yes. Kingdom Hearts 3. DMC5. Cadence of Hyrule. Yes, I heard. Got nominated. I heard that. Sayonara Wild Hearts and Death Stranding, the winner being Death Death Stranding. Stranding. Yep. Soundtrack is beautiful. I will give it that. Haven't heard it, but hey. FIFA uh, best sports racing game. Oh yes. This one I was actually I was I was happy for. (laughs) FIFA 20, F1 2019, Dirt Rally 2.0, eFootball Pro Evolution. And Crash Team Racing Nitro Fool. Yes. Crash Team Racing 1. Yes. But before you continue, let me just say this. No NBA game. <laughs> they did not deserve to be nominated. No, they did not. They they didn't even deserve a fucking honorable mention. No. That's all I wanted to say. No 2K20 NBA 20 is trash. Exactly. Fuck out of here. Disgusting. Right. Moving on. Content Creator of the Year. <laughs> uh... <laughs> <laughs> it was uh, Courage. I think it was Courage JD. Yeah. Uh, the Gref G. Ben Benjamin Lupo, Ewok and Shroud. The winner being Shroud. Yeah, I no. would have given it to Ewok just because. I just like seeing the fact that there's there's a kid, you know what I'm saying, who ha- unfortunately has a disability, but like does not let that get to her, and still no, was able to all. like strive and be successful mm-hmm. in the field. And it's also. I think, what was it? The first girl to get signed to phase, I believe? Yep. First girl to ever get signed to phase. Shouts out to her for even getting nominated. Yes. That's what's up, though. But anyways, best esports player, Sinatra. Perks. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> what kind of name is Perks? Oh, my God. It's, it's, it's just making me laugh, but hey. Sinatra. Yeah. Perks. Not the drugs, but... No. The, the <laughs> simple. Yes. Faker. And Kyle Giersdorf. I believe I, I that's, that's the that. Fortnite player, right? Yeah, uh, the winner was Kyle. Yeah. That was the 16 year old player that won a couple million dollars. I believe we covered that on this podcast too. Yes, when he, when he uh, won it, I think back in August or September. Uh huh. Um, my inner league fan wanted Faker to win, but. Too bad, so sad. All yeah, right, too bad, on. so sad. Fuck you. <laughs> 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 uh, best best performance. Move on, bitch. Best, I think I'm trying. Shut up. I'm trying to move on. <laughs> best performance goes to. Oh, wait, the nominations are yes. Laura Bailey, Gears Five. Matthew Poretta, Control. Norman Reedus, Death Stranding. Mm-hmm. Ashley Birch, Death Stranding. I mean, the Outer Wild, the Outer Worlds. Pardon me. Mm-hmm. Ashley Birch, the Outer Worlds. Courtney Hope, Control, and Mads Mikkelsen for Death Stranding, the winner being Mads Mikkelsen. All right. Fair enough. I'm glad that I looked up who he was, so I'm like, oh, it's this guy. Mm-hmm. I know I know Ashley Birch, though. She was actually, in the story, she's like supposed to be like your best friend, I believe. Yeah. Or something of the sort. Mm-hmm. But anyways, m- moving on to the best narrative. Ooh. Control, Death Stranding, The Outer Worlds, A Plague Tale. And Disco Elysium, the winner being Disco, Disco Elysium. Elysium. Oh, of course. Best ongoing game, however, Destiny 2, Apex Legends, uh, Tom Clancy Rainbow Six Siege, Final Fantasy 14, 
in Fortnite. Let me guess. The winner being so obvious, it doesn't even have to be named. Moving on. Exactly. <laughs> All right. We got two more. All right. Best multiplayer game. Tetris 99. <laughs> <laughs> Call like, of Duty Modern Warfare. You, you want to say something? I like how we both laughed at that. Borderlands 3. The Division 2 and Apex Legends. The winner being Apex, Apex Legends. Legends. Very well deserved by Very. Respawn, honestly. Yes, this a good comeback, honestly. A great comeback, yeah. All right, our last topic is the big one. Game of the year, boys. Game of the year. We have The Outer Worlds, mm-hmm. Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, Death Stranding, Control, and Sekiro Shadows Die Twice in the winner, obviously being Sekiro. Yeah. I really would have liked Smash to win. Listen, me too. But. But if I'm keeping it a buck, Arthur, the only way Smash would have won Game of the Year is if every game that came out this year was ass. Yeah. <laughs> but they were, a, but hold on, wait, and this is not this is not a knock to Smash though, but there were a lot of great games to come out this year. This was actually a very good year. A lot gaming. of good games, honestly, yes. like for real. Like all these were stacked mm-hmm. with great games. There were only like maybe two or three games I could nitpick and be like, okay, I don't really think these deserve to be here. Like uh, Jump Force. <laughs> yeah, you know me. But I'm not talking about that. Let's move. But yeah. Uh, I will say the performance that they did for showing the nominees with the orchestra and how they played a song corresponding to the game was really nice. That was really good. It was cool. It was cool. <laughs> and just one more thing. When they put that, I don't know if he was a Swedish guy with the guy with blonde hair that was singing. Who saw the, yeah. yeah. I was and like, no, fuck that. The dude after him would just start screaming. Yeah. Like, <laughs> those two are real men. <laughs> Yo, that man, those two can sing. I was like, yo, these guys, yo, who hired them? They're awesome. I, I like I like that, too. I was actually impressed by how good it sounded. All right. Uh, but it, to wrap this up, right, because we're already about at 50, uh, f- over 50 minutes. Did you like the Game Awards? Yeah, it was cool. It was cool? Yeah, it was nice. I like it. All right. It. What would you get, uh, like a quick letter grade, because mm. you know how we do it here. Yep. If I have to give it a letter grade, though... I don't know. His, his thing about this was the nominations were good. I feel like the winners were on point for the most part. Mm-hmm. But in terms of announcements and like surprises and things that were, uh, oh my God, I can't believe this is happening. There wasn't really much of that. Yeah. Uh, besides the new Xbox being announced, I felt like that was about it. And the whole announcement for the Xbox wasn't even that hype, if I'm being honest with you. Mm-hmm. It was cool. I was surprised. Don't get me wrong. Yes. But it wasn't hype. Yeah. You know what I mean? I get you. But if I have to do that, I would give it a letter grade of a B plus. That's actually the same letter grade I'd give it. I'd give it a solid B plus. If there was any hype announcements or things to get me like really excited for, like over the edge, I'd give it a solid A. Uh-huh. But for now, B plus. This yeah. is definitely like this was actually not a bad show. One last thing I would like to add though is uh, yes. the lack of presence from Nintendo when it comes to like announcements in this thing. Only was two. Only two. Three. Three? Uh, no More Heroes, yeah. Bravely Default, and what was the other one? I don't know the other one. Uh, they what was something. It? What was it, though? I know it's not a, something from Nintendo, like a AAA product. I forgot. I don't know. I don't I, know. I'm still saying, too. But basically, there was a whole lot of shit they could have announced. Mm-hmm. Games that have been in development for years, such as everyone keeps forgetting about this game, Metroid Prime 4. Where is it, boys? I, I played all three of them. Wait, wait, wait. Bayonetta 3. <laughs> Breath of the Wild 2. Hell, I would have settled for a Smash Bros. DLC character. That's what I was hoping but, like, for, But, like, we didn't get any of that. And yeah. it just has me scratching my head. Like, where where the fuck are the games? Nintendo? It's like, it's almost as if, like, they're not ready yet. Uh, Either that or there's going to be a Nintendo Direct very soon. <laughs> <laughs> and be like, okay, here's, here's what you've been waiting for. Yeah. But anyway, I think we should start wrapping this up. It's about to be the 55-minute mark at yeah. this point. Mm-hmm. <laughs> big episode. Very big episode. Packed. But that's what happens when you have a stacked game of Y'all motherfuckers better enjoy this shit. They have straight. <laughs> but anyway, guys. Anyways. It's time for the wrap up, boys. It's time for the wrap up, so let's do the wrap up. All right, guys. Well, if you enjoyed this episode, don't forget you can listen to us on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Stitcher Radio, and pretty much anywhere else you listen to us. 
anywhere else you can listen to podcasts, I, I should say. Yes. Then also, uh, don't forget to give us that five star rating on Apple Podcasts because it helps our channel grow. And so the more you do that, the more we'll get out to more people and be able to put out uh, better, more episodes and increasing quality and content. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Also, don't forget to check out my YouTube channel where the video version of this goes live every Monday morning at 9 a.m. That's at Aaron Ryder. That's also at everywhere else social media at Aaron Ryder. That's Twitter, Instagram, all that. Mm. And my man's over here. Is you can Instagram. find me at Arthur underscore ASP or Arthur ASP. Or if you ever want to drop uh, drop by my Twitch channel, you can just find me on Twitch at Flying Rye. You'll find me playing League of Legends, Dead by Daylight, throwing maybe like a couple of off games that I uh, I don't usually play that much. Maybe like some Resident Evil. Uh, I have plans on streaming Pokemon battles, all that kind of stuff. So just drop in and say hello. Yep, this is one for the books, ladies and gentlemen. We're about to wrap up the year. Mm-hmm. Uh, we might have maybe one or two more episodes before the year is over. Yes. So, yeah, make sure you do all that. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe if you're watching this on YouTube. And this has been the Loading Podcast episode 21. My name is AJ. And my name is Arthur. And this has been the Loading Podcast episode 21. We'll see you guys next week. And yeah, yeah, have a good one. <laughs>